Hey, what's going on there, folks? Good morning, good afternoon. It's the Earthmaster here in the morning time along the West Coast. Thursday, October 12th, 2023. It's about 9.30 a.m. California time here. And uh, let's see what we got for the latest activity here on the globe. 2.8 around the area of the Mediterranean. We also did see some activity overnight in our expected zone here around the New Zealand area. 4.7 coming in earlier this morning, about 6 o'clock or so. New Zealand has been in a region of the middle ground, so to speak, between movement down south here across the plate boundary. We had a little bit of activity here um, earlier as well during the week across the uh, Antarctica and the Pacific plate boundary which pretty much put New Zealand in the middle point here between a couple different active regions. We did see New Zealand get hit, uh, not with a big earthquake, but a little bit larger around the, uh, looks like it's uh, close to the Hikurangi subduction zone here. Goodness, 4.7, 10 kilometers deep, relatively shallow earthquake, but that is right smack dab on the Hikurangi subduction zone. Let's see what we got here for the GeoNet servers real quick as I bring that up. Uh, they're reporting, well, this shows two hours ago, a 4.5, not for sure if that's going to be the same location or not, as what the USGS is reporting down there. Uh, looks like it's in the same location, but this shows uh, about three hours ago, two, three hours ago, my time there, 6.40 in the morning. So 4.5 there. USGS reporting a 4.7, so it's a little odd. Normally it's vice versa. All right, uh, let me see what we got here for the earthquake drums. Kind of curious to see what that looked like across the northern islands. Northern island, excuse me, uh, out there of New Zealand showed up pretty nicely. And again, that's a relatively shallow earthquake uh, across the Hikurangi subduction zone. It's a major subduction zone there. Uh, these guys showing it as 26 kilometers deep. Either way, Shallow earthquake striking out there around the Hikurangi subduction zone. Very dangerous area in terms of the potential for a very large earthquake. I think they're estimating that this thing can be around an 8.9 or so, maybe a 9-pointer. Uh, that would not be good for that area. One of these days it will happen. Just a matter of time. Similar to all subduction zones out here. They, they build up slowly over time and uh, when they decide to go, it's a big one. Not really much of a welcoming party. It's more like a good bar goodbye party for the most part in terms of the uh, potential earthquake uh, magnitude out here. Pretty, uh, pretty large. So continue to watch that. Um, around the region, let's see here. That's about the only one here specifically in this area from this morning. Uh, we'll watch that area today though. For some further movement across Solomon Islands, a couple earthquakes there after midnight, a mixed bag of deep earthquakes and shallow earthquakes here across the Papua New Guinea area, westward around the Banda Sea, uh, no major swarming up north for now. Uh, the Aleutian Trench is quieted down slightly. We did see elevated movement here yesterday with a 5.6 and a 4.4 in that area uh, yesterday time frame. Today, handful of earthquakes up here across the state of Alaska, mostly around the Denali area and a little bit outside of Anchorage as well. Into the Idaho area, the Sawtooth Fault System has seen a little bit of activity near Stanley, Idaho. A couple twos kicking off, uh, looks like yesterday and today. Nothing going on here across Yellowstone. I don't know if they fixed their thumbnails yet or not. But it looks like the data is still off. I did notice, though, on the live seismograph stations here at Lake Yellowstone, a little spike of an earthquake. Very small, nothing big, but still a little bit of movement there across Yellowstone. All right, California, for the most part, generally quiet up north. A handful of earthquakes down south here today, including one just north of the border, a 1.8. Nothing big going on here for now. Uh, rest of the country, some scattered activity across Idaho, or uh, Utah, excuse me. And uh, oil fields out here in Texas getting hit slightly. And uh, one earthquake there from yesterday in Missouri. Nobody small quake. Puerto Rico area, handful of quakes out here as well. Very typical. 
Nothing major going on up here across the Puerto Rico Trench or the subduction zones for now. South, uh, South America, mostly from yesterday. I know there's some smaller quakes out here in that range, uh, including a 3.2. It looks like coming in within the last half hour in that red flag. And not a whole lot going on across areas of the Middle East. There's uh, some smaller earthquake activity out there, 4.6. Let me see where those are coming from. Uh, looks like around Turkey, eastern Turkey area, 4.5 along the plate boundary. Or just off the plate boundary. Aside from that, uh, we'll just kind of keep an eye on things here today. Uh, I still don't think we're done with the adjustment across New Zealand, so we'll watch that. Uh, solar weather activity. For the most part, is uh, neutral. There's not a whole lot of you know severe flaring going on. Mostly smaller flares in the sea flare category. From um, quite a few different sunspots out here. Uh, some of these are producing some low-grade sea flares, but nothing of major concern. Uh, right now, the majority of these look fairly stable as far as the... Uh, the potential of anything larger than the sea flare. I don't think we're going to see it. Uh, the threat level right now remains 95% chance for a sea flare. Uh, M flare at 35, X flare around 5% chance. Not for sure where those are coming from, but uh, just looking at the current magnetogram there looks a little on the stable side. Not a whole lot of auroras out there today either for the polar regions. Uh, severe weather outlook here today does show a slight risk for severe weather that includes a five percent chance for tornadoes out there mainly around nebraska goodness um it covers a good portion of nebraska out here a portion of uh, northern kansas as well out into the uh, florida region looks like they're underneath a five percent chance for tornadoes as well and uh, looks like a little bit of wind and uh, maybe a little bit of health right up there in Nebraska as well. So just a heads up, stay weather aware. Uh, things can stir up this time of year. Uh, so just be on guard for that. All right, folks, I'm out of here. Just had to do a quick update. Get it out of the way. Today is uh, Thursday, right? It is Thursday. Tomorrow is Friday. So we got Friday right around the corner. Looking forward to the big annular eclipse coming up. This weekend, Saturday, early in the morning, we'll go over. I'm going to make, be making a separate video specifically on the Ring of Fire Eclipse, the annular eclipse. We'll take a look at the path, weather conditions, and whatnot. Um, it's unfortunately, unfortunately, out here in California, Northern California, I think we're going to have cloudy skies, which is not cool. Uh, but we'll go over that in the video. Uh, I'll probably post that up. Uh, later today, have a good one. Catch you guys back here uh, a little bit later. Take care, folks.